Adam here from Nothing But Tech. Welcome to What's in Your Tech Travel Bag. This is episode one. Um, let me know your thoughts of it in the comments down below. But we have four really awesome submissions. Um, so I'm kind of testing out how many submissions I should be putting in each video. Right now I did four. If this is too long, let me know. If it's too short, let me know. And I'll kind of adjust it for episode two. The four people that are in this episode are Sandkalp, sorry if I butchered your name, Dave, Greg, and Justin. Congrats on making it into What's in Your Tech Travel Bag, episode one. Um, these four people had the opportunity to win the Amazon Basics 17 inch bag, um, which is really awesome for carrying around your tech and stuff while you're traveling. And you guys actually get to decide who wins by voting at the end of this episode. Um, and one last note I wanna make before getting right into this is that if you're also a YouTuber and you want me to shout you out on this and leave you in the description down below, just let me know when you submit. But yeah, the submissions are still open, so all the information to submit is in the description down below, but let's get right into this first submission. So the first submission is from Sam Kelp, and he actually does have a YouTube channel so I'll drop a link in the description down below if you guys want to go check him out but yeah he has a Panasonic Lumix FZ 1000 alongside the camera battery chargers an ND filter for the camera and of course he's rocking a Nexus 6P thumbs up to that he also has a Logitech X50 a Western Digital my passport ultra one terabyte drive I also have one of those he has a microfiber cloth and spray I also carry that around when I'm traveling as I hate fingerprints on my device alongside a MacBook Pro retina 2014 in terms of the specifications it is 256 gigabytes of SSD storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM. He has a MagSafe 2 charger to charge up the MacBook Pro, a USB-C charger, I'm assuming for the Nexus 6P, alongside the SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gigabytes and the SanDisk 8 gigabytes, a lower pro passbook backpack, which I actually really like the looks of. I've never heard of it, but now I'm gonna go check it out. The Sony MDR-XB950BT and a Sennheiser cover for the headphones and a Nokia micro USB charger. That's a ton of gear, really like all of it, and definitely love that bag so thank you so much for submitting sand Cal, but let's move on to submission number two from dave so dave also has a youtube channel which i'll drop a link down below but in terms of the gear he has um the bag he's using to store that gear is the bonka renowned backpack i've never heard of that but now i'm gonna keep an eye out for it um in future submissions it looks really nice he also has a camera bag which is the co trek 97238 adventure in terms of his microphone is a bm800 he has a target brand wallet and even though that's not tech i like to see what other stuff you travel with so if you have your glasses or a wallet or stuff like that definitely include it um i think we all would enjoy to just see what you're putting in that bag as it's not um just tech based but it's your travel bag so whatever you're bringing um, if you bring something like a microfiber cloth like the last guy did, I definitely want to see it. He has a really solid Asus laptop. The exact version is the XM200M. His keyboard is the no brand travel keyboard and he said he's making a video on it. So if you're interested in it, um, be sure to subscribe to his channel so you can see the video on it. He also has a life proof case, um, the iPad mini gen two, a red dragon mouse and skull candy headphones. So thanks so much for the submission, Dave. Um, definitely get to check out your channel after this video, but let's move on to Greg who not only submitted his drone bag, but also his travel bag. Starting off with his travel bag, his bag is the Case Logic DCB308 SLR camera bag, a 2012 Mac Pro, the Sony A6300, which I've actually been eyeing and kind of want to pick up pretty desperately. Um, so props off to him for having that. He has a Sony 35mm f1.8 OSS lens. That's really an awesome lens. He has a Canon EOS Rebel T5i alongside the nifty 50 50mm 1.8 lens, an 18-55mm f3.5 to f5.6 lens also from canon and then the canon 55 millimeter to 250 millimeter f4 to f5.6 lens he also has a joby gorilla pod i also carry one for vlogging and he has a lens air blower an iphone 6 battery case alongside a 10,000 million power external battery and of course canon and sony batteries because these cameras never seem to last a long time and then the other small things is a strap for both cameras and then cables just to charge his phone with the external battery. So he has a Phantom 3 professional drone and he's carrying it in the DJI hard shell backpack. And he's also carrying the remote controller, the battery charger, alongside a bunch of extra batteries as the drone lasts for like, I think around 10 minutes. And then he has um, the DJI propellers. He has two pairs and the DJI display shield. So not much in there, but that seems like an awesome combination to just fly around your drone. I definitely want to see some footage from that. Thank you so much, Greg, for entering. He also has a YouTube channel. It will be linked down below. Everyone that I feature in this video actually has a YouTube channel, so it would mean a lot to me if you just go check them out. Um, appreciate them entering. Let's move on to our final submission, which is Justin. He has a Burton rucksack bag. He said he's not sure about the actual model number. He has an Asus Chromebook C201 
one PA. That's an awesome computer, especially for students. He has a Tripolo in the orange color version, a Moto G4 Plus, and a turbocharged brick. I love the Moto G4 Plus, especially for all you get for your money. He also has a Logix Blue Piston, Jabra Step Wireless Earbuds, the Color 1000 Gold by LifeX, which as you guys know, I have about nine of them in here. And then he also has a Logitech MX Anywhere 2 mouse, which is kind of the smaller version to my mouse, which is a Logitech MX Master. An awesome mouse, and you definitely get a lot for your money. Anyways, thanks to Justin, Sankalp, Dave, and Greg for entering. Really appreciate it. Um, but now it's your time to be involved in this. Who do you guys think should win the backpack? Um, you can vote right here with the poll, and in the next episode, I will announce the winner. And if you want the next episode really soon, be sure to like this video to let me know, and then also submit your stuff, because we all want to see it, and um, the more we have, the more interesting the episodes are. And let me know, did 4 make the episode too long, or was the episode too short? Um, definitely let me know what I can do to improve the next episode, with all that said though, follow me on Snapchat right here. I post a lot of behind the scenes. I also answer all your questions and interact with you on Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope. So be sure to follow me on all those social medias as well. Link down below. But I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye.